I do have skills that make me a nightmare for people like you. G'day guys. Right, um, part two of the great Jersey drama. Um, there's a few things Chris Heard has supposed to be dealing with me with. Um, one is recording in court buildings, which is where he's been referred by Jackson Cutting to uh, talk to me in regards to the legalities of it. So there's recording in court buildings. There's uh, the court jersey, which is the what he likes to claim that I'm not allowed to wear in public. Um, so we've got that lot from him, and we've also got the failure to record the judge alone trial, um, which I've responded to him in the past as well with. Here are the updates so far that I've um, had with, with him. First of all, we'll start with the failure to record the judge alone trial on the 9th of February. Um, he sent me this email on the 10th of May stating, Dear Mr. Keane, your emails of the 20th and 21st of April are, in the Ministry's view, for the most part, factually and or legally inaccurate. Now, he hasn't actually stated what parts are inaccurate or factually incorrect. He's just saying, the Ministry's view, I'd like to point out, the Ministry is a fictional entity and it can only, views or opinions can only be held by men or women. So. You know, it's it's this apron they all hide behind as an agent for the government. I am happy to elaborate on the reasons for those views, but you have made it abundantly clear that you do not wish to discuss these matters further. Yeah, well, if all you, you and by you, Chris, I mean you representing the ministry, we don't want to get anything personal here, now do we? If, if the ministry's view is that I've said something inaccurate, back it with what you mean by that. Um, I've made it abundantly clear that I will not accept legislation threats, such as in regards to the court jersey. He's trying to say that signs at a court building are justification and have lawful reason for you not to record. A sign that says no recording is completely ambiguous. It, it states no recording, it doesn't have any legislative reference underneath and most people know that if a sign has some sort of legal authority it will say under what section of what act it's giving it its force and effect. These signs don't. And the fact that the hypocrisy of it all, that they say we can't, we meaning the general public, can't record in a public place and yet they're doing it. So you know, there isn't a double standard here. The ministry and government and all of those people that are elected to serve, not in power to rule, all of those people um, get their authority from the people. We wouldn't give you authority if you're going to restrict your own. Okay? You're there to administer the government affairs, not dictate what everybody's allowed to do. But that's the difference between law and legislation. Law is there to protect property and, and rights of the individual, whereas legislation is there to restrict or prohibit something that you can lawfully do in the first place. Um, moving on, it remains for me to, to reiterate that the Ministry does not permit the public to record in the court buildings. The Ministry doesn't have authority to not allow us to exercise our rights in a public place. They are the caretakers, administrators, owner or leasee of those buildings. Those buildings are owned by the public, not by the ministry. So, um, for you to say that you are putting a prohibition, you must have some sort of lawful reference behind it. Which you don't, because I've recorded many times in that court. Never been arrested for an offence, because there isn't a criminal offence. And Chris will later state that it's a civil law. So, in other words, they revert back to trespass, do as we say, or get booted off the property. The only exception to this is the courtrooms. Well, of course, because the judges have, you know, control over their own little worlds. 
which are controlled by the presiding judicial officers who may, at his or her's discretion, allow recording. But wouldn't that be going against the court rules? If they're allowing recording, they're saying, oh, well, we're not the only releasee of the building. We only control this little jurisdiction called the courtroom. That would be why. Yours sincerely, Chris. Right, okay, Chris. Well, that was on the 10th of May. So on the 11th of May, I replied to him. Dear Chris, I will ignore your insult to my intelligence as to factual or legal inaccuracies. Given you like to hide behind the apron of the ministry while expressing such, a fictional entity cannot have a viewpoint. Only you can, Chris. Or did you speak to the ministry and ask it? Did you? Did the ministry talk back to you? Your emails, Chris, have no legal references to support any reasonable limit on recording in a public place, and in my view, are insufficient without legal provisions supplied. What charge would I incur if I was to record at Auckland District Court again? Or would you take the trespass route, given no legislation has been supplied to support the Ministry's position? You have given conjecture, speculation and opinion as the sole reasoning for such a prohibition, stating some public find it offensive to be recorded in public, and the staff can't walk away. Nothing with the word act in reference, nor section. Therefore, it is the Ministry that have failed to support any factual or legal basis for such a restriction, let alone anything reasonable. All that remains to be said is that I shall be exercising my rights, should I wish to return to Auckland District Court, a public building, and act lawfully, including recording any and all interactions with those acting as public servants, with no malice or intent to offend, if the Ministry wishes to infringe, obstruct, abrogate, prohibit or refuse these affirmed rights and freedoms, a record will be made and published in the interest of the public, transparency and accountability. The Ministry does not have authority to grant permission or deny permission of these rights or freedoms. If this needs to be settled in a fair, independent and impartial public court, so be it. The Ministry derives its authority from the people to administer justice, not dictate when rights are to be prohibited in a public place. If it does not permit members of the public to record, back it with some legislation, as you, Chris, have failed. I will accept correspondence from you, Chris, if it is to contain which I have repeatedly asked for, but to date, you, Chris, have supplied nothing. I made it abundantly clear that I do not appreciate you, Chris, making vague threats in an attempt to encourage compliance, which apparently you ignored. I expressed I had no wish to correspond with you further due to your threats, yet you ignored this also. It is real simple. I will abide by law. If you could supply some, I would review it. You or the Ministry's opinion, position or view is of no consequence or irrelevance. And Section 25 of the Crimes Act 1961 does not allow you or the Ministry ignorance as an excuse to act outside the scope of your office. To avoid my own ignorance in the course of due diligence, I have asked many times for the legislation you are using to back the no recording in court buildings position and you cannot supply any. Do you not comprehend what is being asked for? Act section that gives the Ministry of Justice lawful authority to prohibit recording by public in a public building. Mankind created government to protect people and property which rights are a subset of. Government created legislation to restrict and control, govern, its citizens. Elected officials are elected in office to serve, not to rule. They derive authority from the people and can also have it removed in the same fashion. Enjoy your day. You can expect this correspondence to be published in due course. So, <clears throat> that's, as far as, that's under the title of Failure to Record Judge Alone Trial. Yet all he's done is um, told me that the Ministry is saying that, in their opinion, I'm full of shit, inaccurate or factual inaccuracies, and I, all I ever do is supply facts behind my logic. So, I'd like to see the Ministry supply some. 
So as far as failure to record in the Judge Alone trial, their standing or position is that somebody forgot to press the record button. My standing, and along with my independent witnesses position that was also there that day, support that it was recording. The judge checked with the registrar or court taker who Ministry of Justice are failing to identify to me, even though it's a public or he's a public servant, and they're saying that they can't be held civilly liable or they're immune. They're not immune from criminal proceedings though, are they? Um, at the end of the day, I know what they are trying to say now is absolute untruth. Um, and I have evidence and witnesses to support this. They have found out after the fact that it wasn't recording or whatever excuse they want to give me and they've given me nothing to support that. Just conjecture and presumption and unfounded bullshit as far as I'm concerned. Now Chris might want to say that I'm making defamatory comments against him. I'm not. Chris shouldn't take things so personally. After all, Chris is just acting as an agent of the Crown. And if you want to act as such, and the Crown wants to basically give me fodder and bullshit as reasoning for things not happening that they are by law supposed to do, like keep a permanent court record, then be it on their head. The justice system works on the trust and confidence of the public. And from what I can make out, there's fuck all trust and confidence in the government as a whole, let alone just the judicial system, which is proving to be completely corrupt. Um, or at least, if not corrupt, there's rules to follow, but they don't follow them because they're immune. Alright, so they can fuck up all day long, every day, and they're immune from prosecution because it's an error or an omission. Although I would say, how can someone erroneously or by omission state that something's recording in one minute, and then afterwards, oh no it wasn't. So to that person that verified the recording was going, the court taker, was he lying to the court? Was he lying to us? Was he misleading the court? Did he, because he physically, viewably went down and checked that the system was operating, and then he turned around and verified it to the judge. So was he lying to the judge then? Hmm? What, what is it? it it's, it's real simple. You can't take one position one minute and then say it, the opposite happened. Especially when I'm in a court of record. <laughs> Enough of that one. I'll move on to the next part of our wonderful thing. Catch up with you then shortly. It's been emotional.